gonna be talking about how to level up your workday using monotasking. So what is monotasking? And what happened is that this person that is a researcher did this study. And I don't know about you, but there's times where I have gone to a restaurant and the waiter or waitress has asked me for my order and they don't write it down. And this researcher was really curious about how this waiter or waitress could remember the order without writing it down. And so what happens is they found out through this study that our minds quickly forget finished tasks. And why they found this out was this researcher went back into the restaurant after the waiter write, wrote it down. And she asked them after the task was finished, after she paid, after she received her food, what did I order? And the waiter or the waitress was unable to respond with the order to what this researcher um, ordered. So what happens is we will forget those tasks that are done. But if they're not finished, there's often times where it will take up space and it will nag our brain to remember what we need to do. And so we're constantly being reminded of all of these unfinished tasks in our brains. So some background, there's space and switching. So again, space, when we have tasks, they are taking up and they're demanding space in our brains. And it is kind of having this daily thinking until we either complete them or we delete them. Okay, so for an example, let's say I have the laundry running. It is going to continuously take up space in my brain until that task is done. Once it's done, it's going to delete out of my brain and I no longer have to worry about that activity. Switching, this actually slows us down, which I think a lot of people think that we kind of speed up, we're able to multitask, but we're all, we're, um, research has shown that it really slows us down when we task switch. So I like to think of this with having multiple tabs open. So maybe you're trying to complete iReady and an Edpuzzle video, and you just keep going back and forth, back and forth. It is actually taking up a lot of brain energy to do that. And so what research has shown and what research tells us to do is to really focus on one task. So again, going back to that monotasking. And instead of task switching, which slows us down, focusing on that one thing, getting it done, crossing it off our list, and then moving on to the next thing. So how do we stop these interruptions? Here are some tips and tricks that can help you. Consider doing a brain dump where you will list everything that you need to do and creating that list of what you need to do. After you create that brain dump, think about what you can color code, what needs to be done now, what can be done later, what can be done in the future. And then organize that list and prioritize what, again, needs to be done first, second, third, and how you can complete these different tasks. So think about different ways that you can do this and practice it. So you can use Google Keep, which is a great way to organize a to-do list. You could use Google Calendar to plan out your week. You can use a piece of paper and you might have other ideas that you might use as well. So let's give it a try. Are you up for the challenge? You're going to take these items that are on your to-do list and you are going to complete that brain dump. So we did that brain dump for you. You might color code and you might organize all of the exercise activities together, all of the clean up your room in a certain color. And then after you do that, you're gonna to wanna to organize and prioritize that list in order of how you should complete this using a Monday through Friday um, list. So again, you can use Google Classroom to create your list, Google Keep, Paper, and you might have another idea. So create your to-do list and that is what you're going to submit for this challenge.